Good morning, Beach Bums. Today, I'm taking out Travis, who was the winner of my free fishing trip giveaway that I did uh, a couple months ago. Uh, he actually lives down here. He's, he's an avid fisherman. He fishes the pier. He fishes the beach. I actually ran into him on the beach like a few days before I did the drawing, so that was kind of funny. But I'm taking him out today. We've been kind of missing the opportunity just because we've had some bad weather and just different reasons we haven't been able to get together so finally today we're making it happen and i'm going to film the experience i've got to get some bait i'm here at hooked up uh right here at uh, the corner of 59 and it's at the corner coming into gulf shores i don't know what this other <laughs> road name is but i'm going to get some bait and i'm going to head over and meet travis and hopefully we can get on some pompano they've still been pretty hot so we'll see hello Yeah, and a 10 pound bag of ice. All right, guys, I'm here with Travis. We're gonna go down Fort Morgan a little ways. We're gonna see if we can get on some pompano. Sounds good to me. All right, we're about to get baits out. Travis, he knows what to do. He's been fishing. How long have you been fishing on the Gulf Coast, man? Probably about 20 years. 20, 20 years, yeah. So he's gonna show me a few things today, some tricks as well. So this dude needs no guidance on how this stuff works. He's got plenty of experience. My guess would be a ray. We've had a crap ton of rays coming through. But we got something big. Look at it scaring off that bait. <laughs> They're like, I'm getting out of here. Oh, I don't know if we're crossed or if they got a fish on this. Pop. Did it feel like a ray or feel like anything better? It's either a red or a ray. This looks like it might be a pompano. Keep on reeling, keep on reeling, keep on reeling. All right. Looks like a pompano to me. Another big whitey. <laughs> Holy cow, man. We're on the stud whiting right now. Look at that. Such pretty fish, man. Good eating, too. Oh, man. Some of the best. Ah! Crap. Jack me up. That sucks. All right. Whiting number two. Is that a pop? Woohoo! We got a pompano. That's what we're after today. Bites a little slower. You sure you don't want this fish, man? I mean, I clean them for you and everything. Man. I guess we can keep the pompano. All right. <laughs> it's such a good fish, man. You know, eat this fresh, you know? I got, I got plenty of it. Yeah. I, I mean, you got some in your freezer? Oh, yeah. Well, you know, eat, eat some fresh fish and, you know, save, save what you got in the freezer. All right. First pompano of the day. That was all right. I, all right, I'm gonna. Did you see my video on the zone awareness? Yeah. All right. What what I've done? I I, I thought that that one was right there on the back side. Of the well, well, actually, this one I pushed further out, yeah. just a little bit. Um, the rest of these are were like pretty close in. Like I mean, really right on the back side, almost on the bar. Because mm -hmm. that's where I thought they were gonna be running today. Because it's kind of where they were. So I pushed that one a little further out. So. I'm gonna recast that one first. I always do that because okay. that's so I can get it because I, I I know the feel of that and see where it landed because I kind of know how much energy I put into that cast last time. And then I'm gonna go recast all the rest of these and try to put them as close. Well, not all of them, but I probably do two and try to put them as close to where I had that. And we'll see if we can catch more pompano. All right. I think we got another pompano. Same zone, same rod. tell you guys these fish they they run in a very tight area usually when they're running up and down these beaches there he is pump number two that's a little bit bigger sweet yes sir we might have got off but seriously probably a pompano oh there there he is oh it is a pompano he's still on he's swimming all the way in guys i just moved this rod to that same zone and look we just limited out on pompano or one person limit in uh what that take like five minutes <laughs> i'm telling you guys i'm not lying to you when i tell you it's all about what zone you're in we weren't getting bites 
for 30, 45 minutes because I, I was not putting it in the right spot, but we finally found where they were. And it's that easy. <laughs> right on, man. This is a fat one, man. Put your hand around that. Oh, yeah. Meaty. All right, we are kind of just goofing around now at this point. We've already got Travis's limit, and uh, I'm not keeping fish today, but we just bombed this bait, just threw it as far as I could out there, and I think we're hooked up to another pump, or is that a catfish? What is that? See, that's what you end up catching when you long cast, is dang catfish. Yeah, that's a cat. Yeah, so we just bombed this bait. We just chunked it like as far as we could, which is what a lot of people end up doing. And uh, in many cases, this is what you end up catching. <laughs> but I cut one open, one a bit of blood. Really? Pure white meat. Yeah, and I felt stupid because I probably threw 25 to 30 of them back. Yeah, no, it, there is a fish on there. I don't know. Feel Another white. Better than a cat. Yeah, heck yeah. This, this was just on the inside of the bar there. Yeah, we. I, I've. Um, I did a video. I don't, I don't know if you saw it, but I, I did a. I found this recipe for bluefish, and it's really good. I mean, yeah. my wife, she she actually like craves it. At she's like, you got to go catch some bluefish. Like she well, loves I mean, it. Yeah. <laughs> you mind if I catch him? All right, I threw this one about where I think those pompano were running, so it's probably another pompano. Yeah, he's running like a pomp. Running like a pomp. Yeah, look at that. Beautiful fish coming in. We're going to let this one go. Travis has got his limit. There it is, that that quick. I just threw that one right back out where I thought these popping over running. We're, we're just kind of really messing around at this point, but. <laughs> yeah, this is a day you could probably catch as many as you wanted. That's a nice one right there. Yeah, it is nice. Travis and I are done. We're headed off of the beach. Had an awesome morning. We just kind of ended up hanging out, talking about fishing and life and everything that's going on. So it was a good time. Uh, we caught the pompano pretty quick once we realized you know once, once we located where they were uh, they were running that same zone so we caught his three limit in like five minutes literally once we found them so <laughs> we we kind of stopped trying to catch them but we caught some really nice whiting which we didn't keep any of those he, he said he had a lot of fish so uh he, he just planned on keeping the pompano to eat fresh so we let all the whiting go which we caught three really nice ones which is awesome because if you've paid attention lately i've been talking about having a hard time locating these whiting and haven't really been catching a ton of them so i'm always glad to see those those dudes but guys i appreciate you watching thank you to everyone uh i almost forgot thank you for everyone that did share my facebook post again this was a couple of months ago a lot of you did and i entered you into a drawing for a free fishing trip and travis happened to be the one uh, that we drew and he uh he, he's an avid fisherman like i said you know this he's, he's not a noob he's been fishing the alabama gulf coast for over 20 years so this dude knows what he's doing so uh you know it wasn't really about fishing today just kind of hanging out and just seeing what was going on out there but thank you again so much for sharing the post i appreciate everything you guys do to help support me and help grow the channel but as always guys you stay bummy